right, here we are at the family cabin in Packwood. We are about to set off on Washington BDR section one. We're gonna be in and off of it all day. Uh, it's Saturday, June 10th, and it rained all night last night. So here's the crew. Minus that thing. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it and uh, bring you guys along, so stay tuned. We just got on uh, Forest Road 21 from Packwood and we're just uh, hitting the gravel. Let's do this. Let's see how close to Oregon we can get. I don't think it's in the cards, but uh, oh, I got get, get used to riding gravel again today. It's been been a few weeks since we've ridden, and it's it's gonna be a little. I mean, it's not dusty. That is a silver lining here. I'm wondering how Tommy's gonna do on those Deathwing tires. Should almost be to the snow park around this corner. Car, truck. I mean, it's not horrible. It's a little slick. It's a little greasy, the mud. Maybe it'll uh, dry out a little bit as the day goes on. We'll see. Snow park's coming up. So I think I'll pull in the pull in the snow park. Let me let me slow down. Alright, we're entering. I don't know what the name of the snow park is, but it's one of the first ones you hit out of Packwood. Uh, I think is that the exit? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going in either way. Okay, here we are the Snow Creek Park. This is Tommy. Here's his tires. Here's our tires. How you liking those tires, Tommy? They're just a little shaky. But... <laughs> He's gonna go down today. He's going down. Alright, we're gonna video it. So at 10 miles in, which is another six miles, is where we got stopped a month ago. So let's go Let's go see. All right, my helmet is anti-fogged on the inside now. So we're gonna go see if we can get through. I think a couple weeks ago they said it was still impassable, but I think all that nice sunny weather we had up until today and yesterday would have melted it. All right. Here we go. We have we brought extra fuel. Let's see if we need to tap into that today. So what are you thinking, Chris? If 90 miles is our cutoff? Did, did everybody did you you brought spare fuel, right? Okay, did Tommy get one of those 32 ounces? Oh, the, oh. <laughs> you're gonna get your car. You do get better fuel economy than me. Or I brought my fuel economy up since I've been tuning my car. I think I think I was guesstimating around 57. 57 maybe somewhere in there it's hard to tell no gas gauge on this thing P 
piece of chain in the road right there. Probably a snow chain. All right, 18 miles, 18 miles in. says is open. That is one of the ones that says open. We're going to go past that to 2329, which will, well, we're going to take a left on the 2329, which technically isn't a saying it wasn't open. Or it was open, but it, there was snow about a mile before Tackalacka Lake. So I don't know. We may get stuck and have to backtrack way around it. Right, we're leaving this lovely campsite shelter after a gear adjustment. Got my Onyx rolling now. My I can turn my can I turn my head GPS off? All right, so guys. So yeah, I'm getting down there. I probably won't. So, if you see a campsite that we should pull off and check out, I can mark it um, for future reference, and we'll have all these data points of campsites mm -hmm. along the way here. And maybe if I'm nice, I'll share them with everyone on the internet. I don't know. Maybe to keep some of them private for ourselves. Okay. Okay, review on the bag. So far, so good. I had to tighten the straps up once. Other than that, um, it rained on them all night, and everything inside was not damp. <laughs> so, not wet. Might have been sort of condensation-y feeling, but it was, for the most part, everything was dry. So, so far, so good. Holding a lot of stuff. That's Big Red. This is Krispy Kreme. The Tominator. The Tominator. Um, uh, I'll be Dirt Reynolds today. Dirt, Dirt Diggler. Dirk Reynolds. Dirt, Dirt, Dirt Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's continue on. Let's see if we can make it to to Tackalacka Lake. It's really the first sign of really getting deep into. So, I don't know, Bigfooty country is what I. You get this, you get this really remote feeling back there, Pat. Like you're, you're way, you're way back in there when we start getting to that lake, and we're gonna go deep. We're gonna try to go even way deeper than that. What do you think, Tommy? Huh? Huh? Thumbs up. All right. How you liking those tires? Ride. How you liking those nice tires? Mm-hmm. Seem to be. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a this is a cool area along the BDR. This section through here, nice wooden bridge. suck at snow so I'm going to take these very careful uh, you know me and snow don't get along here why don't you go up a little bit and let us know Let us know if it clears up. I'm not gonna do this for miles on end. Does it clear up? Are you in a clear spot? Okay, I'm gonna, all right, my turn to struggle. Shit. 
<laughs> Is he down? Okay. Hopefully there's not too many more of those or they're small. That's a good one. Deep on the left. I say you go all the way to the left. All right, making me a. Yep. Well, time I went through, you dug one for me, and time I went through it, it should be pretty. Yeah, he's already through it. Yeah. yeah, this is where we stopped somewhere along here and had a break. I gotta figure out why my phone keeps going to sleep. I don't know. Is there some setting? I didn't do this before when I'm using the app. It's still it's still like keeping up, it's just the screen goes black. lakes up here I'm sp we're getting really close to the <sighs> I really hope we don't have to hit a wall and have to backtrack five miles yeah but we're getting closer to the lake and that's where the report was making it I'm trying to go the same track so I can make it deeper for Tommy make it easier all right hopefully that's the end of that but we are real close to the lake uh, you guys want to ride down to the Check the Takalaka campground out for Pat. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't even know. I don't think it's open yet, so let's go check it out. But I don't, let's see. This area patrolled by law enforcement. I think if you get off and park, I've heard bad. I've heard some pretty wild stories here about getting people getting tickets. Um, well, I was gonna, I was gonna stop for a second. What? Oh, uh, what did it say? Oh. So this is 23, up to the right. We can take that back to Randall today. Here, I'm gonna pause for a second. So... We're still on the B we're still on the official BDR route, but I gotta see where our turn is gonna be. Oh, it's down a ways. Okay. It's down a ways. Okay. How far down is it? Oh, it's it's a ways. Alright. This is Forest Road 23. Now I read this is clear all the way down, down to the Oregon border. It's just kind of one of the main arteries through this area that people take. 
so it's a fairly maintained road 23 it looks kind of slick boys I can't tell yet I gotta test it I'm looking at some tracks off to my left Yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be bitey. I'm not sliding the rear end like I was earlier. There's, there's some loose sections. Okay, we're... Alright, uh... Wait, stop here. Let me zero in my... Just kind of pull off to the right. Let me make sure this is actually it before we go. So this campsite we're going to, Chris, is the one we tried to get through through the other way and ran into the washout where there used to be a bridge probably back in the 80s or 90s that would get you to it, but we, were, we had to backtrack, what, 40 minutes out of there? Um, that's what we're looking for. This is Twin Falls Campground, about 50 miles out of Packwood. A little off the BDR here. This really isn't part of the BD, Washington BDR section one, but just a place I know about. Never been here, so I wanted to check it out for. It's not really dispersed camping, but it's an old sort of forgotten campground. So. Let's go look at the balls. I tried to get to this through the mountains on the other side of this river last year. There used to be a bridge. It's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go down in here without killing myself. It's definitely a cool place to camp. You got water. It's fairly. I don't think it's very popular. You can't get any RVs in here or trailers or anything like that. So it'd be tent camping. I want to get a look at the actual falls. I know. There's several sites. Whoa! Check it out. I want to get down in there. sun is coming out. Now that is unexpected. Wow, this is really pretty. Wow. That's cool. And I where it gets its name, Twin Falls. Very nice. So, we were somewhere on the other side. There used to be a road that went through, probably down that way. I have no clue. Um, anyway, we're gonna get back on the road. This was our first official stop in finding a campsite. Not a dispersed one, but it checks all the boxes. I can get a vehicle here. Water. It's 50 miles from Packwood, from the cabin. So, uh, beautiful place to camp. It's not popular. So, we're going to get back on the road. So, see you in a bit. So, we're running south right now. Kind of, we could jump back over to the actual BDR pretty easily. Alright, this is our turn. So if we 
kept going straight, we tagged back into the BDR. This is 8871 here. I think so. Ooh. Well, if you want a remote, we're getting to it. Even know what forest road this is to even tell tell you guys but this is just one I made up you could do this instead of the main route of the BDR depending on how much of a challenge and how much remote -ish, remote remote you like well this one looks a little precarious and I don't know why it's all in my head and we're pretty remote. I'm gambling that this is the right rut to take. And that's a deep one. There we go. There you go, boys. You're welcome. I'll stop up here and wait. Whoa. I'm trying. <laughs> it's like a magnet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Oh. It is as bad as I thought. Oh, hold on, which way? Oh, it is straight. Let's go see. This might be the end of our adventure. At least I see bicycle. Like there's a bicycle track in here. Somebody bicycle through there. I'm gonna go take a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I think <that. laughs> at least right here it does. There's a clear spot. <laughs> Somebody had a bicycle or a sled or something. Yeah, I think uh I think this is it for this road. <sighs> Damn, because it, this is my remote quest is this was the, the most remote route. Well, I got to go back and regroup now. See, oh, we got to go all the way back out. We're at the flat top snow park, and I think we're going to call it right here. We're kind of at the 90 mile mark from the cabin and I don't want to run out of fuel so it's we got such a late start in the day we're not we're, we're, we were gonna go to Oregon but the weather was so crappy we had to start at 11 if we would have started at 7 we would have definitely made it to Oregon but that's how it goes sometimes but we did find several really nice dispersed camp spots so I'm gonna end this video now maybe I'll turn it back on in a minute if not I'll see you next time